That Peyton, unfortunately, we are watching something that could be heading our way. So what's the latest in the tropics? Yeah, we are watching it closely. Uh, it's that time of year. Uh, let's go over the next three days really quick to give you an idea, and then we're going to get deep into the tropics. We're going to see some rain today, about a 70%. So watch out for downpours. There will be some breaks, but it could be heavy at times. Same thing tomorrow. And then on Saturday, we'll have about a 50% chance of storms. So over the next three days, we don't really have anything to worry about in the tropics, just some heavy rain around at times. Now, as we go into Sunday, maybe a completely different story. There's our three areas we're watching. We're not concerned with those. We're watching Invest 99 really organized overnight, and this will likely become a depression pretty soon uh, today as we go throughout today. They may just be waiting for the hurricane hunters to get in there this afternoon to designate it depression. There it is south of Jamaica by about 200 miles. It's going to be moving northwest. Notice up towards the Yucatan uh, channel here or towards the western tip of Cuba by Friday and then into the Gulf of Mexico by Saturday. No changes there and then perhaps getting close to the northern Gulf by Sunday. So this is going to be on someone's doorstep by the end of the weekend. So if you are doing any preparations or going over your hurricane plan, you need to be doing it today, tomorrow and Saturday because by Sunday you're going to be running out of time to really uh, do anything. So be thinking about your evacuation plans and things like that should you need to use it as we go into the end of the weekend. So we've bumped up parts of the area into the red here, meaning prepare where uh, we don't have a cone. That's what's making this kind of difficult to communicate. Uh, we'll probably have a cone later today, but if we did have a cone, we would be in it at this point. So be planning and preparing, have your evacuation evacuation plan ready to go. Call friends, do what you need to do to really set all that up uh, and get all those, you know, things like needing cash, prescriptions, uh, things you can do right now. Just go ahead and do it just in case you need to do it by the end of the weekend. Here's the latest on it. You can see there are a big area of showers and storms uh, and it's further north than what it was yesterday. We were thinking it could be down here yesterday. Well, it's now way up here towards Jamaica and they're giving it a likely chance that this does become a depression or a storm probably later today. So we've been talking about the uncertainty with this and it's come from the uncertainty of where the center is going to form and it's looking more and more likely like we're getting a better idea of where that center is going to be. Initially, we're thinking, OK, it could either form this far on the far southern end or we could have a center on the more northern end. The one that looks more likely at this point is this one on the more northern side or the central here. So right in here. And what that means is the further that center forms to the north, the more likely we are to fill impacts here in Louisiana and especially southeast Louisiana and south Mississippi. So if it takes this more northern track here, it would be a better chance of getting up into Louisiana, riding around that high pressure, of course. So that's what we're looking at with our latest on why there's been so much uncertainty. There is still some, but we're growing confident or more confident that that center will be on that more northern side. How are our models handling this? They're not doing a terrible job. Notice the GFS in red, the Euro in green. That's where they think the center of circulation is coming together, and that's pretty close. I've got satellite thrown on here, and we think the center is developing somewhere right in there. So the models are doing good right now. Now watch what they do. They bring it over the tip of Cuba as we go into Friday afternoon, continue to organize it, and then into the Gulf of Mexico by Saturday. Notice both models pretty much exact agreement that it's sitting south of Louisiana by Sunday morning, and then they both have it making landfall somewhere in Louisiana by Sunday night. So this thing has sped up uh, just a little bit. Then you got to be wondering, well, what's the environment going to be like in the Gulf of Mexico? It does look quite favorable. We've got warm waters, and it looks like we're going to have fairly low wind shear. It does have some wind shear right now, thanks to this upper level low spinning over Florida. That's giving us some southwest wind shear, but that upper level low is going to be backing to the west and weakening, and then that high pressure is what's going to take over and steer it. So overall, uh, it does look very likely that we get a name storm out of this. The next name is Ida, and it looks like a pretty good bet that this becomes a hurricane and could be a strong hurricane at that. So not trying to scare you, but this is going to be on someone's back door by Sunday more than likely, Sunday night, and you got to use the next couple of days to make sure you are prepared just in case uh, we need to put things in action here in Southeast Louisiana. There are still a lot of unknowns, but something we got to follow closely over the coming days. So we'll be watching that, be checking in frequently multiple times a day as we go into the weekend.